glacial and interglacial periods. What was the Pleistocene? The last ice age, which began around 2.6 million years ago. How long did it last? Around 100,000 years. When did it end? Around 10,000 years. What are glacial periods? When the ice advances and covers more of the Earth's surface. How long does it last? Around 100,000 years. What are interglacial periods? When ice retreats to cover less of the Earth's surface. How long does it last? Around 10,000 years. Glacial budget. What are glaciers? Masses of ice that fill valleys and hollows. How do they move? They travel downhill due to gravity. What is accumulation? The input of snow and ice into the glacier. What is ablation? The output of water from melting ice of a glacier. What is the zone of accumulation? The upper part of the glacier, you get more accumulation than ablation. What is the zone of ablation? The lower part of the glacier, you get more ablation than accumulation. What is the glacial budget? The difference between total accumulation and total ablation in one year. What is the positive glacial budget? When accumulation exceeds ablation. What happens? The glacier gets larger and the snout advances down the valley. What is the negative glacial budget? When ablation exceeds accumulation. What happens? The glacier gets smaller and the snout retreats up the valley. What is the snout? The bottom end of the glacier. Glacial budget. What is the main cause of the glacier retreating? Global warming. How much has the average temperature changed over the last 150 years? 0.9 degrees. How much has the average temperature of Rhone Glacier changed between 1937 to 2005? 1.8 degrees. What evidence is there that the glacier has retreated? Pictures, monitoring data, and the amount of meltwater. What do the pictures show? It shows that the glacier has shrunk. What does the data show? The length has decreased since 1879. What does the meltwater show? A lake has been made from the meltwater which shows that the glacier has been melting rapidly. Glacial Erosion What happens to the landscape when the glacier moves? It erodes. 
What two ways does the glacier erode the landscape? Plucking and abrasion. What is plucking? When melt water at the base, back or sides freezes, pulling pieces of rock with it as it moves. What is abrasion? When bits of rock stuck in ice grind against the rock below this glacier causing wearing away. How does the top end of the glacier move? It moves in a circular motion called rotational slip. What can it erode? Hollows in landscape and can deepen them into bullshit. What is freeze for? When water gets into cracks in rocks, then freezes and expands repeatedly, causing rock to How are quarries formed? A hollow fills up with snow which compacts to ice over time. What erosion occurs? Freeze for plucking and abrasion. What does the freeze for weathering do to the quarry? It attacks the back wall of a quarry, causing bits of rocks to fall into the ice. This makes the hollow bigger. What does the plucking do to the quarry? The ice tears away bits of rock that is frozen at the back of the quarry. This makes the hollow bigger. What does abrasion do to the quarry? Why is it shaped this way? The moving ice causes a rotational slip, leaving a deeper area near the black wall and shallower area at the lip. What is an arete? A steep sided ridge formed between two glaciers. What is a pyramidal peak? A pointed mountain peak formed by three or more glaciers eroding, forming a pyramidal peak. What is a truncated spur? Edges of a valley when the glacier has cut off the ridges of land that are in the way. What is a hanging valley? Valleys formed by tributary glaciers. What is the formation of a glacial truth? They begin as a V-shaped valley, but changes to a U-shaped valley when the glacier erodes the sides and the bottom. What is a riven lake? A lake left over as the glacier retreats. Glacial transport and deposition. What is it called when the glaciers move material over large distance? Transportation. What is bulldozing? When the ice pushes loose material in front of itself. What is it called when the ice drops its material due to overloading or melting of the ice? Deposition. What is a moraine? Landforms made out of material dropped by glacier. What is lateral moraine? A long mound of deposited material where the side of the glacier was. What are drumlins? Elongated hills on glacial deposits. What are the characteristics of a drumlin? Round blunt 
teaspoon shaped and steep at the upstream end. Management of tourism on ice. Why is the environment fragile? There are only a short growing season for plants making it harder to recover from damage. Decay is slow in cold, meaning pollution slash litter remains on environment for a long while. What are the economic impacts of tourism? Lots of new businesses and more opportunities for jobs. What are the social impacts of tourists? Congested traffic, more young people due to job opportunities, tourists trigger avalanches causing death and injuries. What are the environmental impacts of tourists? Soil erosion due to people trampling on snow, glacial landforms eroded by people walking on them, increased noise, increased pollution and litter, visual impact due to new buildings. What management strategies are used for avalanches? Tourists are informed of avalanche risks in order to avoid them. Resorts build structures to divert to slow down the snow. Plant trees to act as barriers set off controlled avalanches to dislodge snow before tourists arrive. What management strategies is used to prevent pollution? Improvements to public transport reduce traffic which reduces damage to the environment. What management strategies is used to protect the environment? Nature reserves limit tourist activity, meaning the environmental impact is reduced. Shamanix case study Tourism on ice How many visitors does it get per year? Around 5 million per year What is it? The highest mountain in the Alps How many seasonal workers are there every year? 2,500 what was wrong with tourist development? Increased avalanches. What pollution is worse in the Chamonix area region than in the centre of Paris? Traffic pollution. Why is there a lot of CO2 caused in Chamonix? Huge amounts of energy is used for facilities for tourists. How is Chamonix managing tourism? Avalanche barriers set up, free public transport, solar panels and hotels are being used. Impacts of glacial retreat. Why is glacial retreat bad for winter sports? The ice is gone, meaning winter sports can't be played. Why is unreliable snow bad for winter sports? There might not be enough snow to play winter sports. What would happen if there wasn't enough snow or ice in a tourism area? Tourism would decrease, leading to unemployment. What would happen if the meltwater decreased? Industries that rely on meltwater will lose money and shut down, for example, hydroelectric power. What will happen if the area's pollution population declines? Local services and recreational facilities will shut down. What natural hazards could rapid melting cause? Flooding, rock slides and avalanches.